of two primers. I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so after I'm just going to apply some of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to set the primer on my eyes so that when I put the other colors, since I'm using um, some darker colors, that it blends out more smoothly. And I'm going to take Buttery from the Artist Palette. This is this color right here from the Artist Palette. And I'm just going to apply that all over. So I'm actually going to be using a few other colors that are not in the palette. I'm going to be using um, this color right here, which is Orange Soda by Anastasia. So it's by Anastasia, but it's just not in that palette. But I'm just going to apply this to my crease as my transition shade. So you can kind of see that that just kind of warmed up my eyes just a little bit. So the color I'm going to be using is Anaconda right here, which is the green one. Before I do that, um, I'm actually going to go back into another Anastasia color. I'm going to use um, this color by Anastasia as well, which is called Sienna, which is right here. And I'm going to be using the Sigma E25. Focus that right here just right in my crease. It's okay if it gets on the lid because I'm going to go over it with the green anyway, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in with this Sonia Kashuk brush, it's just like a flat brush, and I'm going to go into the color Anaconda, and I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. So you can see that it kind of blends into that brown color. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to make sure that I bring that into my crease just using the tip of the brush so that it blends into the brown and it's not just like a harsh line. I'm going to go back into that um, Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to take some more of that sienna color and I'm just going to buff out the green so that there's not any harsh lines. But I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to go into the green color and I'm just going to focus that right above the crease just a little bit. I really want the look to be focused on the green, so I'm just going to post, 
post it. I'm just going to apply some of that right in the crease as well. And then after I do that, I just want to deepen the look up just a little bit. So I'm going to take the black, which is coal. This is in the palette. I'm going to use that on with the same brush that I just used. Okay, I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner. And I'm even just going to slightly blend the black into my outer crease just a little bit. So I'm going to apply the NYC liquid liner. I'm going to move on to my face. So I already moisturized my face. And now I'm just going to prime. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX, which is my favorite primer ever. It's so hydrating to my skin. I have super dry skin. And when I use this primer, my face doesn't feel dry. So I just applied my lashes off camera because I, I just can't do it on camera. I'm wearing the House of Lashes in Iconic. And I like them. They're nice. Um, I like the Coco Goddess lashes more, but you know. I'm going to do my foundation. I'm going to be mixing two. I'm going to be using the Fit Me foundation. This is the original one, not the matte and poreless one. And the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This And then I'm just going to apply that with this Real Techniques. What is this one? Buffing brush. And I'm just going to apply this. All over my face. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I like to take the shade Chocolate and take it on a concealer brush and just apply it to where I'm going to put my contour just like lightly. I like to blend that out and I'm using a e.l.f. stippling brush, this small stippling brush. So this color in the palette, this like pinky salmon color, I really like it as a blush. So what I like to do is I like to take my beauty blender and just go directly into it. I like to just apply this to my cheeks for like a nice subtle wash of color. So to highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Lumi pen. So nothing too crazy. And then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that all in. And what I like to do when I don't want like a super bright under eye is I like to set my um, under eye with just like a regular powder. So I'm going to be using the Fit Me powder. This is in 240 Golden Beige. So now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm going to take this dark shade right here and I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones just a little bit right underneath or right where I applied the Anastasia chocolate color. I'm going to be going with MAC Gingerly and I'm just going to be using a e.l.f. blush brush to apply this to my cheeks. Okay, I'm just going to apply Anaconda all over my lower lash line. Like and then I'm going to be taking Coal, which is the black color, and I'm just going to be applying this to the outer part of my eye. I'm going to go back into Sienna by Anastasia. I'm actually going to use this on the little brush that comes in the palette. And I'm just going to lightly buff that on the lower lash line. I'm going to take an eyeliner. This one is by Too Faced. It's just a black eyeliner. And I'm going to apply this to my waterline.
I'm gonna take this brush by BH Cosmetics. It's just like a pointy brush. It's like a stiff pointy brush. And I'm just going to take Fresh, which is the yellow color. I'm gonna apply it to the inner corners of my eye. I'm really nervous to do this, by the way. I'm just going to take some mascara and I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line. I'm going to apply my highlight and my lipstick. So for my highlight, I'm going to use the Josie Maron Argon Luminizer. And I'm just going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. Just a little bit. I'm going to apply Becca Opal. I'm going to apply this with a fan brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. For my lipstick, I'm going to be using Sand by Joseph Colors, which is nude, and it's from the Terracotta Collection. And so that is the completed look with everything done. I'm used to a warmer look, so it's weird doing a cool tone look, but I actually really like it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it, like it, subscribe it you know just do all that and yeah so if you guys have any questions just leave them down below all of the products that i used will be listed down below yeah so that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye